War 5 it stretches from the Red Hill Valley all the way to uh, Gray's Road. And to tell us about what's happening in his neck of the woods right now, as well as other goings on down at City Hall, of course, I mentioned it. He's here now in studio, Ward 5 Councillor Mr. Matt Francis. Matt, great to see you. Yeah, thanks for having me. And I should also say, happy birthday to you. Oh, sir. thank you so much. Happy I appreciate birthday. That. Thank you. Um, uh, you're, you're going to be sitting in, in GIC uh, in the next day or so. Uh, what, what's on the docket this week uh, that maybe we can keep an eye out for? Well, look, I'm looking to amend uh, uh, my motion that was looking to uh, have an alternative to the affordable housing proposal in downtown Stony Creek that uh, my residents said no to. Uh, this is an opportunity to build affordable housing at uh, Lake Avenue School, the Dominic Agostino Rec Center on that property there. It was my alternative site. Unfortunately, uh, uh, Mayor Horvath used her strong mayor powers, uh, which was dangerous and undemocratic in her own words. Uh, so un unfortunately, that did get pushed through with the strong mayor powers. Um, we actually won the vote uh, yeah. at council on an 8-8 tie. Um, so I'm looking forward to finding an alternative and hopefully uh, the community uh, who, who voiced strong opposition to this, the local businesses, uh, in the medical uh, building there, and the seniors that live there, and the veterans uh, that use uh, the Legion, uh, I'm hoping to find an alternative, and I know that they're going to continue, even though it's passed through council with the strong mayor powers, they're going to continue to fight it. They, they, they will continue to fight it because just because council has given it a check, yeah. um, and we'll put an asterisk next to that <laughs> check, um, it still has to now go through the, the provincial side of things, from what I understand. Yeah, d there's, there's definitely a provincial a aspect to this as well, and I think we're going to look at all options. I yeah. mean, this, uh, this fight isn't over by any means. I know there's uh, some heritage components of this that sure. uh, residents are looking at, so I'm interested to see how that fight's going to go, um, but uh, I know the Stony Creek residents have made it very clear that they're not going to stop fighting uh, for their community. And, and, and nor should they. Uh, listen, it, We've seen a lot of tie votes this term, um, which to me as an outsider watching GICs on Wednesday shows that there's a, a very clear divide now two years in. You feel that, you, say, you see that as well, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, when this vote, when, when, Mayor, when Mayor Horvath used her strong mayor powers, um, what was some of the feedback from your residents the few days afterwards? Yeah, from day one, I, ho I hosted a community meeting. We had 200 people show up, and I asked the community, I said, is this an appropriate spot? I, I, I simply put it to them that way, and not one person in that room that day said this that was an appropriate spot. They needed the, the parking to uh, have their businesses survive, uh, and the medical building for the seniors, uh, and paving over Veterans Lane they thought was very inappropriate. So, uh, you know, I, I stood with my residents, and, uh, you know, I, I made sure that we didn't support uh, affordable housing in that area and I brought forward that alternative but the feedback's been overwhelming I mean uh, we've had hundreds and maybe even thousands of people call my office and uh, email us and uh, you know they're very supportive of, of me taking on this fight and, and uh, supporting our community you, you will definitely have some people backing you and then of course you're gonna have your social media people say otherwise we just we just ignore them because they don't <laughs> understand what it's like to be in your seat they don't live in Stony Creek I think a lot of them um, but it is a contentious issue right yeah, now. Definitely. Um, what will be the end result if you were to look into your crystal ball two, three, four years from now? How do you see this kind of playing out? Well, you know, the interesting thing is this is going to take a long time. Even if it were to go forward, it's going to take a long time to get to that point. We're, we're talking mm -hmm. years into the future on this, and this isn't something that's going to be built tomorrow. No. These things take a very long time. So to use the strong mayor powers on, on an issue that's, you know, not going to see the light of day for many years, it, it really doesn't make sense. It, interesting point that you just brought up there, because, yes, the, the homelessness is, is picking up. I'm, I'm sure you must see some encampment in yeah. your ward as well. Well, I'm happy to announce in Ward 5, we actually don't have any encampments right now. Although, you know, in the city of Hamilton, we do have a number of encampments. We, you know, even though we don't have any in Ward 5, we don't want to see any in Hamilton. We want everybody to have a, a safe place to call home. But we have to do it the right way. We also have to work with our communities and, and consult with our communities and make sure that, you know, anything that we build and any proposals that we bring forward makes sense with our, with our communities. We don't want to go against what the people in the communities want. Okay. Uh, let's talk tie a bow on that now that one's been talked to quite a bit let the viewers decide what they want to decide but thank you so much for your clarification yeah. on that uh wild waterworks boy it's been years since i've been down there um 
but it, it's getting a little little old, a little yeah. uh, crinkle, isn't it? Yeah, it's been there for over 40 years. Yeah. Uh, it's an aged facility. I mean, I still love it. It's, sure. It, maybe it's a little bit rustic now, <laughs> but you still go down, you enjoy it, you bring the kids, and it's a fun day for people. And if you go down there on a hot summer day, it's packed. It's lined up down the street to get in. It is. Um, so I, I really enjoy it, but um, we, we did have a staff report showing that it, it is in need of millions of dollars in repair that, I mean, realistically, the municipality just doesn't have endless pockets. So I brought four a motion uh, that will see uh, a potential suitor for private public partnership somebody that can come in and revitalize the place so right now that works happening staff are out there uh, looking at a potential partner so maybe there's something exciting that can transform uh, our waterfront on the Hamilton Beach and, and it would be great to have that so kids uh, of the next generations coming can enjoy it like you and I did when we were kids Absolutely. go down have a fun day at, at the water park stay yeah. in trouble get off your phones yeah it, it's funny that you mentioned you know things are going to be taking years with with the the the, the housing uh, and then we talk about wild waterworks and p private partnerships yet here we have LRT it's taking for years private public private public um, it, it's funny how those two all fall right into LRT what are your thoughts on LRT and how this is moving glacier slow yeah it's definitely moving at a snail's pace uh, everyone can see that for sure um, you know we just recently had the vote on a, uh, whether we're gonna have a private model or a public model uh, the private model passed um, and so did you agree with that I can't remember how you voted on I that. actually voted for the public model you know okay. that was the reason why I, I made a campaign promise that the people in my ward they asked me to support a, a public model so I, I, I was true to my word and I uh, voted to support the public model because uh, that's what I promised on the campaign and I I, I always intend to deliver on my promises. So I'm just going to ask you some questions. I, I was more on the side of, of the private sector, right. and I kind of like the solution that's come in place. I was mentioning that on the Scott Radley show. Let the experts run the LRT with us in the background kind of watching, observing, and how can you maybe hand it off to us over some time. And that's basically what has been outline to this point if it ever gets running and you make a great point and, and I don't disagree with that fact I think uh, you know th there is a good argument to be made for that uh, model in that direction and that's the model at the end of the day council supported so I you know I support my colleagues they made the decision and and that was council's decision so I have to respect that decision um, I have also been hearing uh, a lot of scuttlebutt throughout the city various places I go regarding the cybersecurity yeah. um, hack that that was happened here in Hamilton I know the city is still working on it but you're hearing I'm hearing individuals they're taking out two or three payments now uh, it's backdated you're hearing all these things that are happening yeah. on the outside I guess things are looking better but on the inside is it still you know touch and go at times what what are you hearing from your staff yeah definitely I mean we d we get the calls uh, regularly that you know there's some uh, uh, issues that need to be ironed out still um, I'm confident we're gonna get there eventually it's a uh, it's an unprecedented uh, circumstance we've never dealt with anything like this before um, you know unfortunately this is something of the future that you know not just Hamilton's going to be dealing with but uh, as uh, technology grows this is the issues that uh, are going to be presented the challenges with having more technology in everyone's hands you know these are the challenges that we're going to face in the future so uh, we do have a lot of work to do still but uh, I'm confident uh, we're, we're going to get there. Uh, finally uh, we'll, we'll touch on some economic development in, sure. in your ward. Uh, where are we sitting there? What are some exciting developments that people can expect to see? Well actually this is a good one. I uh, Last year we brought back the battlefield reenactment, the, the uh, Stony Creek uh, uh, battlefield reenactment. Yeah. So every first weekend of June every year uh, they go out there and they do a recreation of the Battle of Stony Creek which is just fantastic. It was uh, slated to be cancelled actually. I fought before the election to bring it back I'm, I'm, I'm happy to announce that it's back okay. and last year was a great success we won an actually the event won an award mm -hmm. and it's a huge economic driver for our ward that weekend the BIA sees a ton of, uh, uh, of foot traffic and, and people coming in from uh, tourism from all over the place mm -hmm. and pumping uh, economic activity into our ward so I, I, I'm proud to announce that uh, that's coming back again and I actually fought in that it was kind of yeah. uh, <laughs> it was kind of fun I had the, the you know the prop gun and I, 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 they made me 
me fight for the Americans. Oh. I, I know I, I wasn't uh, I wasn't too pleased about that part of it, but uh, but did you have on the all I the had the whole, the whole I had works? it on. I'll, I'll send you a picture. I, Maybe you could post it there. We, we'd yeah. love to see that. Yeah. Did it kind of give you a bit of a feeling like that? Oh, that yeah. the uncomfortable Absolutely. wool and everything and uh, the heat. Absolutely, yeah. you wouldn't believe it. I was I was walking through the like it felt like I was almost in a. I was intimidated at one point where I, I came yeah. out from the woods and we're looking at a sea of red coats that are standing there with a gun yeah. pointed at you so it was it was kind of it was a cool experience very intimidating but sure. I, I really enjoyed it it was, yeah. it was great I'm, I'm gonna do it again this year awesome stuff yeah. well we look for try to yeah. get on the Canadian side this time yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, Councillor Francis thank you so much for the update on what's happening at Ward 5 and your openness and candidness regarding what has happened thank good you. seeing you and of course for everyone out there thank you for joining us keeping you connected with the people that make Hamilton a vibrant and engaged community. It's the Hamilton Network. Take care, Hamilton.